You're going to see Supermans and Wonder Womans and all sorts of superheroes taking over the Queen City, but it's not because Lex Luthor is lurking nearby. <laughs> superheroes in Charlotte getting ready to take big steps for small heroes fighting cancer. And joining me now is Catherine Murphy, who's with the 24 Foundation. Dr. Jen Pope from Atrium Health Levine Children's Hospital. Tell us more about the superhero stomp. <laughs> what is the superhero stomp, Catherine? Well, we want the Charlotte community to grab those capes, tie up those laces, and hit the, pa the pavement and help take big steps for small heroes. On April 1st, it is a 5K, 10K ah. um, at McAlpine Creek Park, and we are benefiting Levine Children's Hospital. Ah, how, how does that benefit? What will happen with the money raised? So the funds raised will be donated directly to Levine Children's Hospital. They're supportive and integrative and survivorship programs um, for the kiddos at LCH. All right, and Dr. Pope, how, did, how does that help you all uh, working directly with these children? So that's a great question. I think it's really important to understand that when a child is diagnosed with cancer, it just doesn't affect one part of their body. So our supportive medicine mm. program loves to take care of our patients, mind, body, and soul. So these kinds of funds help us fund things like music therapy, arts for life, integrative medicine, and all of our survivorship services. How, how significant or, or how widespread is, is cancer in young children? Do, do you think we have really have a good idea of that? Um, I think, unfortunately, the rates of childhood cancer are going up um, mm -hmm. every year. And mm -hmm. so about 1 in 10,000 children are at risk for developing cancer at a young age. Mm. All right. Let's talk about this superhero stomp here, Catherine. Uh, who all can be, take part in this, and how do I sign up for it? Absolutely. So anybody can sign up. Um, we have a kids dash. So youngest one's under 10, and my daughter is 2, and she'll be... <laughs> hopefully waddling across the line. So anybody who wants to get out, support our, our pediatric cancer community, 5K, 10K, Kids, kids Dash, um, just grab those laces and you can visit www.24foundation.org to sign up and learn more. Oh, and uh, can I wear a superhero costume? Absolutely. <laughs> Whoa, that's of sort of what the whole thing is about, isn't it? It's the whole it? thing. So we want people to dress up like their favorite superhero, to um, grab a team, get your team to dress up, do a team costume. We're gonna give away awards for best team costume as well. So maybe you should get a, a crew out and dress up the WBTV crew. Yeah, we might just have to do something <laughs> like that. And Dr. Pope, tell me, I have always heard that part of the battle against cancer is the attitude you bring toward it. Something like this, what what kind of impact does that have on patients? Um, I think it has a wonderful impact. You know, I think cancer affects the entire community. Mm -hmm. And so when the entire community comes out to support our patients, our patients feel it. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. it's such a wonderful idea, I think. And I'm looking forward to dressing up in my Batman costume. <laughs> so <laughs> Cannot wait to see that. <laughs> we'll see that. Hey, Catherine, thank you so much, Jen. Thank, thank you, you so yeah. much, too. A pleasure you. to have you all here. And I hope you will sign up for this. You can go to their website, or we're going to have all this information on our website, wbtv.com. This will yeah. be so much fun. We're so excited. I'm loving it. We're it's so going to be great. All right, stay with us. There's more to come on WBTV.